You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports 2. We're going to talk about the Chicago Bears. Now, in case you have not been paying attention to this story, the Chicago Bears look like they were headed out of Chicago over to Arlington Heights. They purchased a piece of land over there for nearly $200 million. Now, there was a lot of things popping up. Lori Lightfoot tried to bribe the Bears, essentially, to remain at Soldier Field, offered them $2.2 billion, essentially, for renovations or, or, or subsidized amount, et cetera, et cetera. There was a lot of speculation and even a lot of stories written, and I can take you back to this one right here by way of the Daily Caller. Uh, involving the fact that the Bears were wanting to get out out of Soldier Field, get out of that area in Chicago due to crime, the uptick in crime. And as we know, it's been crazy, not to mention there's been a decline in Illinois population. That's also going down. Now, they're, they're not obviously leaving Illinois at this point. We know that. They're, they're going to stay in what's called Chicago land. But the Bears are now considering other locations for a new stadium. I guess they, they may just burn this $200 million? This seems absolutely unbelievable, frankly. The Chicago Bears said Friday they are thinking about abandoning their current plan to build a new stadium in nearby Arlington Heights and are considering looking at other locations. This comes despite the team already buying the Arlington Heights land for $197.2 million. The Bears are citing a property assessment they said is too high. So the area is, quote, no longer our singular focus. Wow, talk about just lighting, lighting money on fire. Quote, it is our responsibility to listen to other municipalities in Chicago land about potential locations that can deliver on this transformational opportunity for our fans, our club, and the state of Illinois. Yeah, in fact, this got released last year. It was a layout of Chicago Bears Stadium, this mixed-use district where this was going to become an all, not only Chicago Bears, but NFL slash entertainment sort of complex area, an entire neighborhood of things to do in that general area where the new stadium might go. Quote, the stadium-based project remains broadly popular in Arlington Heights, Chicago land, and the state. However, the property's original assessment at five times the 2021 tax value and recent settlement with Churchill Downs for 2022 being three times higher fails to reflect the property is not operational and not commercially viable in its current state. So they're worried about taxes skyrocketing on that thing, on that piece of property. The Bears said in September they would not seek public funding for the construction of the stadium, but they expect to uh, expect to for surrounding entertainment districts. The Bears envision the entertainment district to include restaurants, offices, a hotel, a fitness center, and more, quote, that will provide considerable economic benefits to Cook County. The city of Chicago proposed last summer in closing Soldier Field and increasing its capacity from a league-low 61,500, uh, but the Bears repeatedly insisted that the only possibilities they were considering was Arlington Heights. Yeah, they had completely poo-pooed the idea of staying in Soldier Field. The Bears remain committed to their current lease on Soldier Field, which has been their home since 1974. I can't remember exactly how much longer they got on that, but I know it was going to try to line up with what they were planning in Arlington Heights. Um, very interesting. And, and so they're saying now the tax value out there may end up being too high. Now, I had heard that a lot of people had left Chicago going to Arlington Heights. It's a more well-to-do area. I remember uh, Walter Payton's son 
some people were like advocating that he go to Lori Lightfoot and and be like, uh, no, we want the Bears to stay at Soldier Field, and I don't think he was willing to do it. In fact, he was on video or on some radio station last year that where he was literally like, no, I'm not going to her to do that or whatever. And um, I think he lives in Arlington Heights. It's a pretty sort of well-to-do, upper-scale area. Sounds fantastic, frankly. And I think the crime's very low in this area. Uh, but if people are influxing away from crime-riddled Chicago to this area, then it may have caused some local taxes to go up quite a bit too, right? That's a lot of times what you see happen. Property values go up, yada, yada, yada. We know how that works. You tell me what you think, Chicago Bears fans. I know a lot of you will come through here, by the way. Sorry, but you, you voted in Brandon Johnson up there that looks like he might be a worse alternative to Lori Lightfoot. How does this happen? Wow, that's for the Politics Channel, Black and White Network, but it's baffling. I mean, Memorial Day was a war zone and a disaster in Chicago. Not to mention all the business is getting the hell out of Dodge. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.